Hello everyone. Let us uh, try to understand uh, the movement of different sectors within NFT in the past week with the help of relative rotation graphs. I have taken the time frame of uh, daily. So I am trying to look at the last 5 trading days which ended on September 11, 2020. And uh, we will try to understand which of the sectors have performed really well and which of the sectors have underperformed Nifty. As we can see here, Nifty has moved by about 1.2% and uh, aided by IT which has moved by 3.1% compared to 1.2% of the Nifty's moment. So when I select here IT here, we can understand that IT is gaining strength by moving from the lagging quadrant and into the improving quadrant and is almost reaching an entry into the leading quadrant here. The momentum is steady and is strong. Another sector which has supported the Nifty in the last week is energy most probably supported by Reliance Moves. And uh, as we can see here, energy sector was one which was falling earlier in the week and then it gained strength and taken a U-turn and is trying to get into the improving quadrant. And the energy sector has moved by about 3.3%. The underperformers are in the metals as we can see, uh, the metals are already in the weakening quadrant and uh, they, they are losing the momentum and the strength and almost is ready to get into the lagging quadrant here. Another sector which is uh, falling are the private banks, which have clearly moved from the leading quadrant into the weakening quadrant and uh, the head is still facing uh, downwards, which might suggest that the momentum st still uh, can go lower. Reality is another sector which is losing momentum here. It was in the weakening uh, quadrant earlier in the above uh, half of the quadrant. But as we can see here, as the week progress, the reality sector is losing a lot of steam and is almost uh, getting ready to get into the lagging uh, quadrant here. Public sector enterprise are another uh, sector which has taken a big hit. They have fallen by as much as 2.3% uh, and they have clearly moved from the weakening into the lagging quadrant. Now, those, those sectors which are showing a little bit of resilience here are the FMCC. So we can see that FMCC sector is moving from lagging to the improving quadrant here and another sector is infra which we can see here has clearly taken a u-turn within the lagging quadrant and is trying to move upwards into the improving quadrant so this is the roundup about the index now moving on to the stocks individual stocks how they have performed over the last week so IT sector has relatively performed well we can see that Tech Mahindra is one such stock which is moving from the weakening quadrant into the leading quadrant here Vipro is another such stock which is clearly moving from lagging to improving and this has almost taken an entry into the leading quadrant. It has got a lot of momentum going for it. TCS is one another stock which has moved from lagging to improving and into the leading quadrant of the RRG graphs. Reliance is another strong uh, stock here which has clearly moved from lagging to improving into the leading quadrant of the RRG graphs uh, followed by Titan which has moved from weakening into the uh, 
leading quadrant here. These are the top five stocks um, and in the gainers and the top uh, top four stocks now coming from the losers are from the public sector enterprise Gale is one stock which has uh, which is in the late lagging quadrant and is even further going down. Coal India is another such stock from the public sector enterprise, which is clearly moved from the weakening quadrant into the lagging quadrant. IOC is another public sector enterprise stock, which is, which is currently in the lagging quadrant and might still go lower. NTPC is the next stock. If you look at NTPC, it has fallen by about 4.9% over the last week. And uh, we can see that it has clearly going down within the weakening quadrant and is almost getting ready to get entered into the lagging quadrant here and uh, stocks which are showing some resilience uh, which may take a u-turn here for us are uh, dr reddy as we can see here it is trying to move up in the from the leading sorry from the lagging quadrant into the improving quadrant here and the next stock is hindustan unilever or hul which has moved up by about 1.6 percent over the last week and is clearly moving from the lagging into the improving quadrant here now followed by hindustan petroleum which has moved by about one percent over the last week and as you can see here it is trying to move from the lagging into the improving quadrant we need to see whether it sustains its momentum or not. Another stock is Titan, which has moved by about 0.7% over the last week. And as we can see here, it is clearly moved from weakening into the leading quadrant. So this is the roundup of the stocks and sectors and how they have moved over the last week. Hope this helps. If you like our videos, please do hit the subscribe and the like buttons. Thank you.